Ugh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> My first question every time I come on here is, can you hear me? Because, see, I'm a stupid idiot, and I probably didn't do it right. You're in here. You can't hear me. All right. Let's go with known. Who we got? We got play again, man. Jamming Jim. <laughs> Brian Phelps. My guy. Ephesus. Maurice, what's up? Got a couple moderators in here. I love it. Nothing better than a moderator. You guys see the little station I made for the pickup winder? Got his little rubber feet on him. Move him around. Got to sit in one spot. But uh, we got Jay Boogie. What's going on? But if we're going to wind any pickups, we need some magnets. <laughs> now, who knows how to do this? Because I don't. <laughs> I'm serious. Who knows how to do this? Because I don't. Y'all going to help me? We're going to wind them to your specs. <laughs> We're winding this to your specs. Al Nico 2. These ones are 2. These ones are 6. I mean 5. These ones are 5. This set's two. We'll do the two first. Now, ain't there some little thing you're supposed to use to <laughs> make sure it's north and south? Where's my little thing? There, you got to have one of these. So you can see if the magnets are north and south. But see, look, I'm going to show you. Just hang on, I'm going to show you. You don't know what I'm talking about. There's a little bead inside there, you see it? Now, when I touch this to it, you see it turned it white? I'm pretty sure white is north and black is south. You see how it changes the color? Huh. Huh. <laughs> so what? We want south down and north up or south up and north down? How's it go? <clears throat> you guys know how that goes? Oh, you didn't see this? Oh. You, you didn't see that. You can't even buy that. It's not for sale. Sure is refreshing. It looks pretty cool, huh? But anyway, so what we got to do before we can actually wind anything is we have to put the bobbins together. Let's wind the neck pickup first, all right? I don't know how I'm going to do this, man. Kathy usually does this. But she refused to get on the video. Where's uh she's sitting right there? You better say something before I turn the camera on you. Say something. Say, hey guys, something. Better wave at him. Hey guys. <laughs> All right, there we go. That's better. <clears throat> Who else is in here? We got Les Paul. We got Lee Merker, SST. Garth Jackson, what's up, brother? George Wilson. We got my friend Dave out there in Pinellas County. Boy, worstest guitar player in the world. <laughs> That's all I see. I don't recognize nobody else. All right. Now. So how does this work? I don't... I, I, does the north go up? How does it work? 
Well, I should check another pickup, shouldn't I? South up, north down, what happens, man? South up, north down. Ephesus. My brother. I tell you what, bro. Hit me up on Instagram or Facebook. I'm going to send you this first set. That we won. Thank you. You showed the love, I'm going to show it. I love you. First guy. I didn't even know. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Nobody told me north or south. Why? You guys, y'all can't be as dumb as I am. Kathy, which way? South up? She said it should be self-explanatory. North to south. I... <laughs> All right. He said we're going to go white up, right? All right. Doing this the way you said do it. That's it. I'm just going to do it the way you said to do it. What if they don't work? Huh? Is it north up or south down, guys? Come on. For the love of God, somebody tell me, please. Huh? North up, south down? You sure? I know, but I'm going to show you. Can you see what color it is? Huh? You see the neck pickup is white. And the bridge pickup is black. Now, why is that? Can anybody answer that question? Please tell me. Huh? Why is that that way? It's not out of phase. Nope. It's not out of phase in the middle. No, sir. Maurice, I need my, uh, I need my little grinder over here, right here. I got to grind the edges of these down and bevel them up before I put them in. I'm going to bevel the edges of these pickups first. Bobby said, better ask Kathy. It. it don't matter. We know that's how they go in there. <laughs> At least we think that's how it works. Working good on that guitar. Let's, let's do it. Now, what I have here. It's one of my favorite little apparatuses. See it? Just a little grinding wheel. But it's really small and portable. It's perfect for doing what I'm about to do. Oh, they get to see me with my granny glasses on. Y'all get to see me with my granny glasses on. I need some granny glasses, Mom. They in there on the table. But we want to bevel this before we put it in. This one? Yeah, that'd be fine. Thank you. Not sharp anymore. It's 
still might be a little too big for these bobbins. I got some big fat magnets, but I didn't realize the bobbins were so small. Oh yeah, we're doing better now. I need to hold her down her 5,000. Hold her down her. 5,000 her. <laughs> you guys know about the, no, the hold her down her 5,000? Dominique, what's going on, brother? Opposite poles cancel, huh? That's what I was told. I don't know. Or was I? I don't know. I don't know. You got to figure that out. Y'all fight it over in the comments. Promise y'all know what I'm doing. But I got that one in there. All right. Oh, I'm just trying to wind up a pickup here, bro. I don't know if I can or not. We're finna find out. Buddy said, don't hammer it. You demagnetize it. Is that true? Does anybody know if that's true? Does anybody know if that's true or if it's a myth? I'd like to know. I think it's, I think it's pretty magnetized still to me. Sound like some BS to me. <laughs> he said he said everything I'm doing is wrong <laughs> from grinding it <laughs> from beating it with the hammer you know that's how I do it Might prove you wrong. We're going to find out. <laughs> right? There's only one way to find out. Beat them in there. Grind them up. <laughs> see if they still work. Right? He said, hit them, kills them. I'm finna hit, I'm finna beat them to death. We finna find out. <laughs> oh, y'all. It's like talking to y'all is like talking to the guitologist. Y'all about to, <laughs> y'all finna have a heart attack because of what I'm doing. You'll be all right, man. Sit still for a minute. Fender said he's a genius. I don't know. I was going to let y'all tell me what to do. I'm down with listening to y'all today. As you can see. <laughs> Sorry, man. I tickled myself. You guys are a trick. Les Paul was probably told that a lot. Everything he did to the guitar was wrong. I'm sure anybody that's ever come up with anything cool was told stuff like that. If you got OCD, you're in the wrong place. I'm learning how to do this. And I'm having fun at it. You hear me? And I'm having fun. I don't give it too hard of a time. I'm the same way. I can build a good one, but I don't play them that good. And I've played in tons of bands. I've just never been the lead guitarist. I've always been the singer guitar player. But uh, this looks like they're going in there pretty good to me. 
Got them going up south. Think we'll be all right. All right. This little thing's cool, man. Y'all gonna like to see this thing in action. Leo could build a guitar, but couldn't play one yet. Yeah, sure couldn't. It'll shatter before it demagnetizes from impact. That's what I'm thinking. And I, I'm not hitting it hard enough. I'm using the soft side of the hammer. These guys are tripping. I did it the same way with all the other ones. They work just fine. I don't think it's getting hot enough, man. It's not even hot. You know what I'm saying? It's not getting it hot at all, really. Can't even say warm. He does like to jump around a little bit, though. Right now, I'm just trying to get them all in there. We'll even them all out once they're all in. You know what I'm saying? But we're three down before we start. And while it's winding, I beat the crap out of the rest of them. <laughs> I really get your OCD going. I seen the YouTube video one time where some dude was using... A magnet to clean metal shavings up around his pickups and screwed the poles up. Now I think that's possible, but I don't I don't know. You'd have to be using some super neodymium. Was he using one of those fishing magnets? Because if he was, that yeah, I can understand that. Because you can magnetize things with that. Going on in. Yeah, it's definitely not getting hot. <laughs> I mean, you think it was, man? Sorry. I'm just rounding over the top. So it's beveled, you know, just a little bevel, make it look cool. They say it makes it sound better. I don't know. Does it make a difference in the sound? Huh? Does it make a difference in the sound? I want a good quality guitar setup toolkit. Any suggestions? Bro, listen. I mean, if you're asking me, you can go on Amazon and find you a good one right now. 30, 40 bucks, have everything you can think of in it. Just got to learn how to use it. See, I couldn't use them crappy things when I first started either. You want to call them crappy. Now, those fret files that I use, they're just as good as any of those crowning files that I use. I've had every Stumac file. I've had every single fret guru you can think of those little files i use on amazon man work just as good it's all about learning how to use your tools amazon or ebay or you can go pay a bunch of money for a stumac get ripped off and i love a lot of stumac stuff but man their tools are cheap just like everybody else's and they charge your arm and leg for them
Brian said he, his wife thinks all his guitars sound bad. Might just be his playing. He said, no, I've heard you play, bro. You can play good. And you know I've heard you play, so stop. I think he's trying to get me to say he's a good guitar player. Brian, you're good, bro. <laughs> Turn this in the ring. Try not to hit my fingers. Oh, no. This guy here, I want to go in there. There he goes. There he is. I knew I'd get him. <laughs> What's everybody doing, man? Jay Boogie, I seem to have the same problem. Your wife, same way, huh? Brian said he's a better drummer. He's a pretty good guitar player, buddy. What happened? Watching me screw stuff up. I'm going to teach how to use the traverse. I know you want to learn how to use the pickup winder. Probably why you're here. Always check them again before I put them in. Oh, I'm Scar My Pickups for Mama. <laughs> he said, make you a new channel called Scar My Pickups, Kathy. That could be Kathy's new channel. She won't do it. You're lucky to get her to come wave at you. Michael Norton, what's going on? Man, these end ones are always the hardest. We're working on some pickups, man. Listen. I got a guy who's supposed to sell me. Pay attention. A bunch of roasted flame maple. Super cheap. You better be listening. You looking for that guitar that you ain't going to get nowhere else. That's a, not going to be around. Pay attention. If this guy sells me that roasted flame maple, the price he's talking about, me and the wife are going to make a ton of necks out of it, however many I can make out of it. And then we're going to throw some good old really dry pine bodies with some flame maple tops underneath them, set of our hand, hand wound pickups with it, Telier strap. Call it the buck 50 beater. You heard me? Called the buck 50 beater. You're not listening. They ain't listening, Kathy. What's the point? There ain't no sense in telling them because they ain't listening. Now, why should I be telling y'all because y'all ain't listening? Do I need to stagger these? Is that how it's supposed to work? What do I do? That would be a roasted maple neck. Oh, it's roasted flame maple. Get it right, Sean. Roasted flame maple neck. 
Now, the back of the body's pine, but the front, I mean, all the best tellies that I've heard were pine back. No joke. The very first one Leo Fender ever made, I think, was pine. If I'm wrong, tell me right now. Am I wrong? Huh? Oh, yeah. That's right. These are smaller holes. Where'd my drill bit set go? Let me break out some tools, man. This is getting out of hand, man. You guys around here messing around stuff? Time for with y'all, man. Dang. No time. Jamboree, bro. You know what I'm saying? Giggy bone. Oh, giggy bone. <laughs> what are you talking about? Fine, it's fine. Yes, sir, it is. You better believe it, yeah. I made my very first guitar out of pine, didn't I, Kathy? I did. My very first guitar was made out of pine. I made a whole complete guitar. Neck and all out of pine. Now, it only lasted a little while. It didn't last long. For whatever reason, it, the neck. Oh, that's right. It's some cheap wood. So that right there proves I'll try anything once. Right? The Explorer's got a pine back on it, Brian. What? Somebody say something you see? I missed something. Did I miss something, dear? Let's, low, let's open her hole up a little. Sorry, babe. Why you got mad at me for that one? I want to build a hollow body telly. Well, you know what I'm going to say, don't you? I think you already know what I'm going to say. Get on it. Man, I, I hate this. I'm not sure I want to make pickups, Kathy. I don't like this guy. It's still not big enough, is it? Gotta make it the right size, I'm thinking. Still just a little bit small. I got some super big magnets. I wasn't bull crapping. Oh man, my drill just died. You see that? Plug my drill back in. What do you say, Dave? Dave said, I want... Man, look at this shit. I think of those flame... Dave said, I want your logo laser printed on my cheap Epiphone Les Paul Special 2. <laughs> Bro, you already know I'm coming to see you soon. Take care of you. Don't worry. I think one of those flame roasted maple necks would look great on another 335. That was cool. I'm wanting a three pickup Les Paul kit, brother. Yeah, that ain't going to happen. See, I'm going to show you something here in a minute that I'm making a video on. I bought a guitar for you guys. Well, I didn't. My wife did. And, you know, wifey don't know no better. She asked me, she said, you really want to buy any more of those crappy guitars on Amazon? I said, go ahead. What are you waiting on? I don't see anything else I like right now. 
I'm going to look on eBay. Go ahead. Bro, three days later, I got a chips in the mail from eBay. I went and looked at the listing. Don't say nothing about no chips and <laughs> nothing. They don't show the headstock in the listing. I asked her, I said, what'd you buy this for? Don't even show the headstock. She said, it's unbranded. I figured it was just some old cool guitar. I didn't care. I said, okay, cool. But it is total trash. And I can't believe they sold it to me from eBay after giving me cease and desist letters for selling Telecaster bodies that looked like Telecaster bodies. They literally almost killed my eBay account for that, man. And then they let somebody else sell me a chips. I mean, I don't know, man. It's just, it's just crazy. At least I think so, anyway. Man, this is harder than I thought it was. Ain't it? I need my drill over there. Go ahead and unplug your hand back. Quickly, quickly, fast, hurry, hurry. That's all it needed was a little, little juice. What I'm gonna do. Maybe now? Jeez. I want a mahogany body with bird eye top. Right on. Yeah, I'm hoping that guy gives me that roasted flame maple, man. For cheap. He said he can. Let's see. Hey, hit that thumbs up, numb nuts. My moderator ain't getting y'all. Just help helps us get seen a little better. They're starting to go in now, though. Trying to get them all started before I beat them all in. Is that annoying? That sound? Can you make pit guards trust rod cover with 3D printer? Sure you can. They're trash though. Just giving you the heads up. You ask me, I'm telling you. Total garbage. Not meant to last. Look cool, but that's just like, look, man, you know, I got four or five new laser engravers they sent me for reviews. I got a couple of them now. I don't even want to do the reviews on them because they suck so bad. And my wife tried to make some money with them. Man, nobody wants to buy your laser engraved trash. <laughs> You heard me. Nobody wants to buy that. You gotta be some, have some kind of gimmick going on with that, man. That's what I'm thinking. Or it ain't happening. Yep, they sent me a few laser engravers. Why? Well, said, you know what? I'll make some cool stuff. My eBay slap full of her cool stuff. <laughs> yeah. I'm 
mean, I don't know what you got to make with those things to get people to want to buy the stuff you make. But we didn't have any luck with it. You know what I'm saying? It's like I ain't having no luck with this pickup. <laughs> I know there's some press I'm supposed to be using, but guys, I don't have it. So I got to do it the way I can. Right? Let's try to use the holder down to 5,000 to press them in there. That just might work, huh? Let's try it. Look at there. I knocked one of them completely out. Let's see if I can press it in with this thing. All we can do is try, right? Uh-oh. Might be on to something, bro. Bro, I'm telling you, I'm on to something. Bro, I'm on to something. Look at that. I'm on to it. Yeah, I'm on to something. I'm on to something that ain't working. <laughs> I need something to turn it with. A pair of vice grips. Now let's see if this works. Let's see. Yep. Right on in there. Look at that there, boy. Look at there. It's nice and tight, huh? <clears throat> I guess it's good when you see the magnets coming out the back, huh? No kidding, brother. Yeah, Hammy's a character, dude. I'm sure you guys would love to meet Hammy in person because he is a character, dude. You ain't gonna get no better dog than him. All right. As my boy Quagmire would say, all right. Now let's level this thing up some. All right. That's why my boy Ephesus up to pick up, man. Wait a second. Huh? Now, the last couple that I wound, I wanted to make sure these things ain't bent too bad. 
Because they do, man. They get bent. They get bent, dude. Now, that's where it gets interesting. My two shot of taste go. It's not inside the thing. Where's my two shot of tape at? Gotta have two shot of tape. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do, boys and girl. Y'all paying attention? You see this little thing here? The wire is pulling through now. I'm holding it in my hand. I'm sure you can't see it, but I do have it in my hand. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to break the end off here so it's nice and straight. And I can put it inside this little hole. And then watch it pop right back out. Put it inside the little hole here. Not very good at putting stuff in the hole. It's only because I can't really see it. Now, I'm going to pull that on through there good. I'm going to stick this booger on here. Right smack in the middle. Got a little piece of black tape here. I'm going to take the wire that I'm later going to be soldering and tape it down to the pickup bobbin. I mean, uh, to the winder's thing here. I'll just tear the excess wire off so it ain't in the way. Put this bobbin on there, make sure it stays. Good to go. Now, we're set. Yeah, we're set. What I want to do first is move this over there. And. Get a couple of winds so this wire stays up against the bobbin. Because if you don't, that the wire that that you're uh, sticking through the hole and then pulling through, it could be up on the top of the bobbin. You don't want that. You want it laying on the flat work there. So I'll give it a couple twists like this by hand. You know what I'm saying? No, no, my mind. Then. We'll go over to this guy and we'll turn him on. Watch this. This is where it gets cool. First, we'll turn this on. Can you see the numbers? Set to zero, zero, zero. I'm going to turn on this guy. And he is tripping. Do it again. There we go. That's a little better. So now I can control this knob by pushing this. And then see that? I can dial it in to exactly over on this side. This is for the right side. Let's see if that's it. It's going to be really close. I like to do this part by hand. I'll push this button again. It'll switch to the left side. See what it did? Moved over. Now we're going to wind it close to the bobbin, the flat work on the left side.
See that? Pretty cool, huh? But you gotta admit, that's stupid cool. It's stupid cool, ain't it? Thank you, Jim Cox. Love you, brother. Okay, now I push this one more time. Now it's got the speed. It's going to go back and forth. You see that? I can make it go really fast. I can make it go slow. I'm going to set it somewhere around C. We're winding a pretty small pickup. Let's go ahead and turn it on. See what happens. Now, I do not want that wire up against this. And I don't want it catching on these knobs. That's the only thing I've seen that they could have made this longer. You know? But uh, let's turn the winder itself on. Make sure it's doing a good job before we crank it up. Man, it's looking pretty good so far. Let's give it a good crank. Oh, it broke the wire. You see what I see? What I said? It caught on this. Look, it caught on these knobs. Bastards. So how are we going to fix that? How are we going to fix that? I already know how. I just wanted you to see that. Yeah, right. But I called it before, didn't I? He said put the spool on the top, right? No, I'm going to show you how you fix it. It's real simple. I've just been putting this right there. I just put that like that. Takes care of it. I need that pen. It goes over here. I can hold it. One of those stick pens. I have. Yeah, I just been putting that there. But I'm going to go ahead and let that thing keep moving around so I don't have to reset it. Too much. Anyway. Because I'm going to have to reset it, but not too much. But I called it, didn't I? I called it. He said, listen to Jim. You need to elevate this pool. <laughs> You're going to find I'm not very good at listening. <laughs> I'm doing my thing. Jim knows I love him to death. But uh I'm on a whole nother level on this, man. I'm tripping, dude. It might not be a good level either. <laughs> I don't know. But I'm just doing what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? Man said he wants to send me some guitars to work on. In order for that to be a real thing, do you send to me guitars to work on? Number one, it's got to be something I want to work on. Number two... You got to hit me up on Instagram or Facebook and we can talk about it. All right, let's see if that fixed anything. Where's the pen? A little stick pen. It goes in the wall. We don't have any room. Where'd it go? We have tons of them. Is that still set right? Let's see.
See what I mean? You know what I mean? I won't do that again. It will not do it again. All right, let's see. Oh, we got to reset. Did it reset, guys? Yeah. You got to reset it. That's no flip flapping. <laughs> now see how pretty that coil is, guys. You see how pretty that coil is? That's just beautiful. I'll let you watch it in, in color here. How many wines are we doing? How many for the neck? Huh? <laughs> we wind in the neck pickup for real. Four thousand, he said. Uh, it's forty-three gauge. Did it break? It ain't broke, did it? It's going so fast I can't even see the freaking wire. This guy's going so fast he can't even see the wire. Boy, that's a pretty coil, ain't it? Look at that, man. Look at that, dude. That's pretty nice, ain't it? Yeah, it's looking pretty good. If maybe, could just maybe. I don't know now. Could. what they say how many? 6,500? Sounds good. Let's do 6,500. How many is that? Is that 1,200, right? Is that 1200 or a thousand? George said 45.52. Look at there. <laughs> See, what you're looking at is a portable pickup winder. <laughs> portable. <laughs> I gotta I gotta set this. It's it's winding a little bit. You got to do a little adjusting every once in a while. Yeah. Just like it to be correct. Won't do it. I won't do it right. That's it. All right. Back now. Hang on. That's right. I got the right off. All right. Let's resume. Let's resume the wine. What do you do while it's doing it? Oh, I know. You play the crappiest guitar you own. It doesn't deserve new pickups. 
Y'all watching that winder, y'all gotta tell me when it gets close to 65. This guitar just sounds terrible, don't Oh, that's right. I could make some new pickup for it, couldn't I? No, I can't make no humbucker, man. I tried already. Let's see how our coil's looking. Ooh, she's looking pretty. Woo, doggy. Woo, doggy. Oh. We're at 32, boys. It's got a magnet right here. I, I, I made a video on how I made this. So, instead of explaining it all to you, I made a video, man. Go check it out. What's up, RJ? What's up, Louie? Louie? That's Luigi. My friend Luigi's in here, y'all. That's Louis Bonacero's Luigi. He's the guy that had the Epiphone studio. Let's see, Brian Phelps. He said, I had three pickup Firefly that was good with the plate pickups. We're at 36, boys. Our coil is looking fantastic. Look at it. It's looking fantastic. All right, we're going to wind him on up. 40. What we said we was going to do? What'd they say? What's supposed to be at 65? Yeah, 65. He said I needed to elevate the wire. P94. What's up, Dancing Flames? Gravy Greg. Is it for a strat? Nope, we're doing telly. All right, boys, we're right at 45 right now. Let me look how much wire is on there right now. One thing about it, it's got plenty of room to keep winding, so let's just keep winding. It's working good. <laughs> it appears to be working okay. I don't know. You know I'm gonna check them, don't you? Yeah, do that black soldering gun. Go we'll check them before we start. Before we go, heat the wax up. We got a wax bottom. She's turning the wax on. Yeah, of course. No, I'm using beeswax, fruit paraffin. What's it wind at? Y'all watching it? Oh, what happened? Accidentally unplugged it. We're at 57. Come here. 58. 59. Oh, we said 65? Was it 65? Mm -hmm. All right, we'll give him another 500. Bring it back here and plug it in. Give it to me. Turn it off at 65. Hey, I can't get up on Trying to do it all. 64, 60, 80. Here we go. 65. Now, y'all said wind it to that. 
get this hot. Got wires ready. We got our beeswax. Said there's commercials in the live stream. There's commercials in the live stream. You know, YouTube does that. I ain't got nothing to do with it. You want to hang out? I guess you got to suffer through it. <laughs> nothing I can do about that. Nothing. Where's my solder? going digital right now <laughs> we finna we finna check one let's turn him off now block this guy off of him Fun, fun, fun. This is the part that's never fun. <laughs> now, what I like to do is I devil them over the eye hole. You know, I like to loop them a couple of times, like to be in the E string. Same thing. So hard to see that wire, man. It's ridiculous. Somebody said to check the resistance before and after you solder. Not happening. Well, I hate to break the news to you. See, in order for me to get any kind of connection, I got to solder it. <laughs> the wire has a coating on it that the solder takes off. But he looks pretty good. Not too bad. Too bad for a rookie. Right? I'm seriously a rookie. As rookie as can be at this. I do not know what I'm doing. I am doing this. Winging it. I wish Brad the Guitologist would show up. He'll help me. I need a razor. Badly. I don't know we have many. I just haven't been able to find one lately. There's one on my desk. Get it? When I go to like Harbor Freight, I buy handfuls of these and I could never find them anywhere ever. I swear, man. It's like they disappear when they get home. They're worse than guitar picks. And these wires are called pushback. Yeah, you ain't pushing nothing back. You got to cut them off.
And if you're concerned with me cutting my table, it's a work table. It's got so many cuts in it already. Have you noticed any difference between a set neck and a bolt-on? Nope. Nope. I think what makes a difference is the angle. Nah, I could be wrong. I don't swear by that. For real. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to stick this through here like this. We're going to stick this through here like this. Pull this back down. Now I'm going to stick the black one in there. Like this. From the top. He's going to go like this. Pull him back through. Now, just solder them up with your holder downer 5000. You got to have a holder downer 5000, guys. If you don't have one, You can find one. Now, that ain't what it's really called. Now, here's what I like to do. You guys ready? I'll get that little ring hot, really good and hot. I'll let the soldering iron sit on the little ring. So now I just fill it right up with solder. <laughs> Somebody said move the wire blocker 150. They can't see what you're doing out there. Oh, this thing? I've got the holder down her 5,000 her. And like I said, I'm holding this onto the little. First, you make sure your soldering gun is nice and clean tip of it is. I'm going to hold it on to this like so. So it gets nice and hot. So the solder just goes right down into that hole good and clean like that. Just like that. Now I could be tripping. But I think we got us a good pickup. Let's check it. Let's see how much she's ringing, if she's ringing at all. If I didn't screw nothing up. <laughs> let's see. Because it's, it's probably not going to work. I, I don't know. Is it? Here's your moment of truth, boys. Five point six three. That's good, ain't it? Should be somewhere around six, five and a half, six. Right? It's good to be. One down. <laughs> okay. Five point six three. Boy, I wonder what it sounds like. I'll go ahead and tear these extra wires off now. They don't need to be there. Ha! Ha! <laughs> 
He goes right into the thing. We did it, didn't we? We made one, didn't we? But guess what ain't finna happen? You ain't gonna get to see me make the other one because we already been on here an hour and ten minutes. And if I'm gonna get you guys a video up, you can't sit there and watch me do this. We gotta let wifey do this and I get to work on your video. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted to show you guys this because if you're wanting to get into making your own stuff, for real, okay? You know, you can't make a complete guitar. I don't remember how much it was to make this. It was super cheap for me to make this guy. And this thing was only $200. That's it. I know what you think. Oh, yeah, only $200. Bro, do you see what I just did with that? It's $200. And if you can sit here and do that string like that back and forth, like my wife can, more power to you, man. I made this super cheap. It was like 20, 30 bucks, I think. How much was that? It's a video because uh, Frank's is popping parts. And yeah, there's a video it. where I make this. <laughs> Ephesus, you still in the chat, brother? John Harden said he made one out of a fan motor. Yeah, I had to get a motor that was really slow before I could make make it. I tried a bunch of different stuff. I had to get one that was geared towards, you know, stupid idiot. But anyway... Let's, uh, we'll check out something else. Ephesus. Bro. Thank you, my friend. But hit me up on Instagram, Facebook, bro. You know you got a set of pickups coming. This set right here. There you go. Set it up for him. That's pretty cool, man, ain't it? This little machine. These are supposed to be Eddie Van Halen sounding pickups. I'm going to throw them into that stupid idiot Les Paul and see what happens. I should have a set of Grovers here for it today. I'm waiting on them so I can get y'all's video done. They're on your desk. Oh, they are? But Where? I just got them off the porch. Oh, yeah, I got to go. The tuners are here. I'll have you guys a video up maybe late tonight or early tomorrow. You know, I just do it when I finish it, man. I just upload the video. But uh, let me see that chips. Have me chips. Don't knock everything over. Then clean your room. <laughs> oh, yeah. That ain't it. That's... Mickey's thing. That's Mickey's case. She thought my friend's case was that. I got a couple really cool guitars here right now. That ain't no chipsons. They don't don't tear it up down, Mom. For the love of God, don't break nothing. Now. I'm pretty sure there's somebody in this chat that's going to say this guitar looks cool. And it, it kind of does. But what throws it for me is they made the binding on the side of the neck yellow. But the top of it's white. <laughs> the binding's yellow all around the body and the neck. But the binding on the top of the fretboard right here is white. And yellow on the side. But man, it sounds terrible. Blades like total trash. Hand me that thing I just dropped. Look, it came with the switch. They didn't route the pocket deep enough 
for the switch to come all the way through. Look, it, you can't even put the screw on it. They just threw it over top of it, threw it in the box. See that little gold thing? Thank you. Just has nothing to it. Look, I'm cranked up. Oh, that's right. It's a crappy guitar. That's why it sounds like that. Almost un unplayable. It look cool, though. Full episode on this. Not doing anything to it. It's going back. I'm just going to show how sucky it is, how crappy this really is. I like the way it looks, not the way it sounds, though. Bro, it has the, the whole fretboard's going like this. I am not kidding you. I don't even need a straight edge to look at it and tell you that. I got to somehow get a picture of this. Because if you're buying these chips and off eBay, seriously, you want a fake Gibson that bad? This guitar was 250 bucks. Okay. We got it to review it, but we didn't know it was a fake. I didn't know it was a fake. We got it to review it. Some unbranded guitar. This sucks balls. Big, hairy, sweaty ones. And it is 10 times better than this. That's the facts, man. If you're a guy that just wants to hang something that looks like a Gibson on your wall, by all means, waste your 250 300 bucks buying this trash because this is garbage. You know what this is, don't you? And I'll bet my life on it. They don't make these guitars to play right. This is some reject neck, some reject body. They got the guy that knows how to do the painting the best that they can. And they literally polish the turd for you. By throwing that on the front of it. This is garbage. You would never, ever hear me telling you guys that this is good. And you ain't going to make it good. 250 bucks, $200 worth of pickups. Another 80 bucks for the tuners. 50 bucks for the electronics. Man, you might as well buy that Epiphone Studio. You're, you're you're $500, $600, $700 into upgrading this trash. You can find a real Gibson for that price online somewhere uh, used. Guarantee you could go find you some cheap studio Gibson that's tomping on this. And nobody in their right mind that knows anything about guitars is ever going to believe this is a real Gibson. Ever. I don't care what you do. You could change the posts where they look real. Get your head stock veneer. It it don't feel like one. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It's just the balance is off. The neck's wrong. Everything is. Where my hand goes don't feel the same. Like, I don't even know how that's possible. Maybe the neck, because I know on a Gibson, if you look, the dot lines up evenly with the neck. This neck's further back in the pocket. See where the dot is? You can look and see where the where this is. It's it's beyond it's further down than the body is. So the neck's in a different place than it where it where it would be on a Gibson for your feel. It's just not. TMF, if I was going to get a chips and I would want an ace free or less false. About the only right. The only the only chips and you should ever buy. Should be one of your favorite guitar players knockoff or something that they have some freaking stupid ten thousand dollar price tag on it. You'll never buy. Just sounds farty, man. It's the only way I can explain that. It's a farty guitar. It's farty. All right, boys and girls, I appreciate you watching, man. You know I do. And you should buy you one. You should buy you one of these. You know.
Yeah, the knobs are never right, are they, man? They're always one this way and one this way. It's just that's a horrible guitar. Everything about it is. If you buy that thinking you're getting a good guitar, man, you are silly. Have a great week. Thanks for the entertainment. All right, man, a farty guitar with big hairy. <laughs> Okay, look, I'm going to run it down to you real quick. Next Saturday, I don't care what fights are on. Okay, don't even message me trying to reschedule. Because we got my boy JT Wild in the house for Blackbird Revival and the Blackfoot Band. Okay, so it's going to be a good time with him. That's going to be August 5th at 8 p.m. August 5th, 8 p.m. I'll see you then. But until then, I really appreciate you watching. You know I do. But until next time, guys, don't you touch my scar guitar. <laughs>